my neighborhood is just popping off all the time. You guys hear this? Every video, there's just the pop off is happening. Like, the world, you need to chill the fuck out. Okay? Thanks. Appreciate it. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Fuck with me. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is up, y'all? Back with another installment of fill up my gullet with dirty treats with the man himself, man with the legend. We're kicking it with the Colonel. In here we have a Pepsi, but I already have one poured here because I have a 2L on deck from the other day that I had. It's lightly flat, but I'm a weirdo. I kind of like my pop, like almost, like I kind of like a little bit of a flat pop. I cannot lie. Um, something about it, just a little less carbonation, nice and cold. Potato salad, hilarious first thing to pull out, but whatever it is what it is. Uh, we also have a story time for you guys today. Let's get to the big sack. Don't know what that is. KFC is notorious for sacks inside of sacks. Like, it's like the Russian nesting doll of, of sacks. Just, you just keep pulling out sacks. Gravy, you gotta have gravy. Getting on the gravy train. Okay, some napkins. Ketchup. Hot ketchup. For the bags under my eyes. Actually feels really nice. It's like the opposite of cucumbers. Like, it's ketchup. Ket hot ketchup spa treatment. That's a new thing. I'm going to be a millionaire with that shit. Get to the box. What up? Oh, two more hot ketchups. Reduces the swelling. A double down is one of the greasiest, dirtiest treats I think there is on the planet, to be honest. Like, we're having, we're having a bacon cheese sandwich with chicken as bread. Just, just, just hold that thought. Doesn't get a whole lot dirtier than that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, food just piling up everywhere. Let's just throw it down. I don't want to see it. Yes. What up, bruh? What up, bro? Two tenders, bacon, that sauce. So to go along with this dirty-ass food, I kind of have a dirty-ass story about the first time I went to a strip club in my life. And it was with my father. So there's that. Let's get to getting this. And then we'll get to the story. But right off hop, the whole time I was waiting, I was just like craving this move right here. Ketchup, gravy. Exactly what I needed. I was just, been, the whole time I was waiting for the delivery guy. Just thinking about fries, ketchup, and gravy. Living living together in harmony inside of my mouth. Okay, so yeah. My first time ever going to a strip club was with my, was with my dad. Um, not only my dad, with like three of his buddies as well. You know, mid to late 40s guys at the time. I was 18. But it goes a little something like this. In Canada, you have to be 19 to go to a strip club. In America, you only have to be 18. So I guess the, the introductory knowledge that you guys need to know about why I ended up 
in the States is that I grew up racing motocross, so dirt bikes, whatever, whatever. My dad got super, my dad used to be super into it. He stopped for a bunch of years. Eventually, when I was 12, he got back into it. He got me a bike. He got a bike. And it became a pretty serious thing. Like, we... We're racing every weekend when it was, you know, the right, like the summer weather and stuff. And we live, my hometown where I'm from is a 40 minute drive from the border of Minnesota. And in Minnesota, they have like some pretty good um, racetracks compared to where I lived. Our racetracks were like pretty shit. So we used to. all go down to the states we'd all pile in like take a trailer pile into one truck you know four or five guys but my dad and his older buddies and then me so i got exposed to you know a lot of like dirty old guy like Man's man, like rough and tumble, you know, motocross kind of like guys, you know. Let's just say a lot of like misogyny as well. Okay, I gotta try this a bite of this before I continue. Mm -hmm. Wow, so good. The chicken bacon combo, unreal. So anyways, we head out one weekend as per usual, all the boys in the truck, you're going. And we had to drive, I don't know, it was like five hours. And on the way, There's this strip club, and we used to, used to always see it. It's called, it's like this purple building. So we always used to call it the purple, just, oh, there's like, there's the purple building. We should go in there one day or whatever. <clears throat> because I'm a summer baby, I'm a Gemini, June 18th. We went racing on my birthday weekend. And they have this big idea that, you know what, because it's turning 18, you only have to be 18 in the States to go to the strip club. Let's bring this guy to the strip club for the first time for his birthday, because he's 18 now, and like, we, we can do that now together. So that's what happens. We go. We head in there. When I'm walking in, I'm, I get carded and whatever. And at the time, I was just so like inexperienced. I just like felt like I was like doing, you know, something weird or sketchy. Like it was just like, oh fuck. Like, even though it was completely legal for me to do it. So anyways, we go in and obviously like, you know, we're sitting around and watching the show and stuff. And it's like, I'm sitting there with, like, with my dad and his like bo boys and like they're older guys. And when I was 18, I looked 12. So it's like, 
these old guys with like a 12 year old and I can't drink too right like so like I'm just sober strip club is not like a place to be sober it's just doesn't exactly fit like I feel like drinking is a thing at a strip club for sure Eventually, my dad's buddy, he's balling. This guy is, like, he owns his own, like, whatever, like, blue-collar kind of guy, like, hammer-banger work kind of business, but he makes crazy good money. And uh, he was like, I'm going to buy you uh, your first lap dance. And I was all like, okay, sick, cool, like, this is dope. At the same time, kind of like nervous and shit. So he's like pointing out a girl and I'm going to go set it up. So I point out this one chick. Brunette. More of like a brownish caramel like skin tone, maybe a bit of like a Latin vibe in there. <clears throat> and uh, she had dead ass. Very small like perkies, but dead ass. And um, he goes and talks to her, all of a sudden she comes up, like takes my hand, brings me into like this back sort of room or like these like lounge with these like couches. And there's multiple people getting dances. So she like puts me down, like lays me down, like just tells me like relax and stuff. And then she starts going to work on me, all that stuff, little, little booty pop. And uh, so it's happening for like, you know, I think he paid for like four songs. So it's happening for like four songs. I'm like trying to hide my, I'm like, you know, I'm popping wood. And uh, it ends. I go back. They're all like laughing and shit. They're just like, oh, how was it? Like, uh, you know, just bugging me and whatever. And then uh, I was like, it was amazing. Like, I'm all hyped. I'm all stoked. And he's like, do you want to go again? you want more? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, pick another girl. All right. So I picked some next chick. The more standardized stripper look, like the fake boobs and like, um, you know, like bleach blonde hair and just like a very standard looking stripper. Stripper starter kit type stripper. She takes me, she just didn't have the same enthusiasm or like nice vibe as the one before. So come back again after that one is done. I'm like addicted at this point. I'm like, I just want to go in that back room and stay there all night. I just want to, some chick rubbing her parts on my shit all night. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm just down for that. That's cool at this point. So I have a mini stripper crush now on the first girl. She's just very comforting and very warm and very nice and, but very sexy. And, um, so I say to him again, I'm like, I'm like, yo, can you buy her again for a while? Like if you're like, cause I'm, I'm digging her he's like, yeah, sure. Whatever. Like, cause he's just like, didn't give a shit. It was my birthday and whatever, right? And he loved the fact that he was corrupting me. So, he tells her to take 
me back there for like until I'm satisfied like for as long as I want kind of thing so me and her go back there and at this point like you know like I said I'm looking 12 and shit but she was getting like really into it like I think there's like a weird something weird going on there with her like I think she was like really quite enjoying this like young corruption and uh yeah she just went to town for like a while um, at some, like, we were, we eventually started having, like, a conversation, and we were talking, and, like, we were really having, like, a soul connection. Mid-soul connection, to the right of me, uh, there was another guy, like, but he, you know, he was probably in his 30s, and he was, you know, you, you could tell he was, like, he was, just, like, kind of that dude. He wasn't, like, one of those desperate dudes at the strip club. He's clearly a guy who, like, gets ass, like, knows how to handle a woman. You can just tell. And how I know that for sure is that because I basically watched this stripper and him for the, the, the length, the duration that I was paying for, or, well, not I was paying, but the guy was paying for the girl that I was with for time, for, like, a while. The guy and the girl beside me, the stripper beside me, she... I think at some point just got so into this dude that she was like not even charging him anymore. And they basically like fucked beside us. Certainly like some serious dry fucking. Like I'm almost pretty sure he finished. You know? So that was occurring beside me. Which, I cannot lie, in a weird way, it was like I was getting all this action, like, from this girl. And in the meantime, I was getting, like, a free side dish of softcore porn. So it was kind of, like, making it even more enjoyable, in a way. <clears throat> And then eventually, you know, just wrap things up, pay her her money. We got out of there. And uh, let's just say later on that evening, I had to handle business. Handle. Hand, handle business. Because let's be serious. I just got grinded on by a naked, fat-ass, like, hot girl for, like, two hours. So. <clears throat> Certainly, I needed to uh, resolve that situation. All right, well, my appetite was less than I expected. I'm not going to finish this. was delicious though and I hope you guys enjoyed that story because I sure enjoyed it when I was it was happening to me um, with all that said clearly you guys know what to do you have to eat good yeah live well and you gotta stay true cheers <laughs>